Hello everyone, my name is Shelly Calhoun-Jones and I'm a Principal Technologist here at Cohesity. In this video, I'll introduce the Cohesity Data Cloud Platform and how you can manage multi-cloud environments, security, and have a conversation with your data. Let's get started. The Global Dashboard is a comprehensive tool summarizing critical aspects such as the health of your Cohesity clusters and protected objects. These objects could be a VM that's part of a mission-critical workload, NAS devices, assets from a cloud environment, and more. Later in this video, we'll delve into the various sources that you can protect. You'll also find elements like the Security Center that evaluates your organization's security posture and provides actionable insights, allowing you to modify security settings to meet your specific needs. Additionally, you'll be able to view identified threats and usage metrics, all within this comprehensive system. Let's search for an object to see this in action. In this example, we're searching for VMs that are part of a WinApp workload. You'll also see that you can filter by region, specific type of objects, and more. We'll select the object, choose Protect, and our Cohesity cluster. In this example, we'll select an existing protection group, which allows you to group together data sources like virtual machines, databases, and systems to apply protection policies to. And a protection policy defines the how, the where, and the when for backup jobs. Speaking of which, let's take a look at Data Protect as a service to see the different sources that you can manage with Cohesity. The Sources section allows you to set up protection for your virtual and physical workloads, databases, and applications. To add more, you can click on the Register Source button or select an existing source. Let's take a look at how we can protect objects linked to an AWS account. Cohesity Data Protect delivered as a service allows you to protect business critical applications that use services like Amazon EC2. In Cohesity Data Protect, a policy is a reusable collection of settings that defines the how and when in which objects from a source are protected. You can create as many policies as you need for your use cases. In this example, we're looking at a gold policy with pre-configured backup and data retention settings. But I could also add additional options for performing full backups or specify quiet times or blackout windows during the day. Once I've confirmed my settings, I'll click on Protect. If your business critical application is a multi-tier workload, you can also protect the database and storage layers that run on services like Amazon RDS and S3. Cohesity Data Protect delivered as a service supports Azure, and you can add multiple cloud accounts if you're part of a larger organization. You can protect objects running in Azure VM and Azure SQL which both fall underneath Microsoft's Infrastructure as a Service offerings. You can use these services for hosting applications and databases recently migrated to the cloud. From a Cohesity perspective, it gives you the ability to protect and recover to maintain your cyber resilience. Speaking of cyber resilience, let's jump over to the Security Center. You'll notice that the Security Center dashboard offers different views and various aspects of your environment. The Security Posture tab allows you to view your organization's security posture and make necessary adjustments to the security settings. The Threat Protection tab offers actionable insight to help you safeguard your data against evolving threats. The Data Classification tab helps you identify sensitive data, giving you a better understanding of the type of data that your organization is backing up. The Cyber Vaulting tab provides an aerial view of your Cohesity Fort Knox environment, which provides Cyber Vaulting as a service. 
Let's browse to Threat Protection and click on Threat Detection. You'll notice that you have the ability to start a new scan or look at pre-existing scans. Note that you also have the ability to schedule scans, which is helpful. In this example, we'll take a look at a completed threat detection scan. Let's imagine that our organization recently experienced a security event, and we need to identify indicators of compromise. An indicator of compromise is any piece of information that can indicate malicious activity on a system. In this example, we can see several files were flagged, and if we were to click on the hyperlink, we would get redirected to VirusTotal. This is a great resource for learning more about a suspicious file and can be used for threat hunting. In addition to running threat scans, we may need to identify servers with sensitive data to tighten our security policies. With Cohesity DataHawk, you can launch on-demand data classification scans. You'll also notice that DataHawk includes many pre-built data patterns, but you also have the ability to create your own using regular expressions. Let's take a look at a completed data classification scan. In this example, we see multiple hits for medium on high-risk data. From this perspective, I have the option to click on the affected files and then download or save a copy of the scan report in CSV format. For our next topic, we'll look at Cohesity Fort Knox, which is a fully managed data isolation solution. It allows you to maintain an unchangeable copy of your data until you require it. This process is also known as cyber vaulting, and organizations use it for data retention, recovery, and protection against ransomware. Ransomware can target a backup environment because the attacker relies on the victim not having a valid and complete backup, thus forcing them to pay the ransom. Let's take a look at how cyber vaulting works. In Cohesity Fort Knox, you can create cloud vaults and monitor backups on the protection page using a timeline format. I can filter by system, cloud vaults, status, and time range. Note that Cohesity Cloud Vaults use a feature called Data Lock to enhance data security and immutability. The only way to mount the backup is to clone that original backup, which is done automatically by the system. It also uses a virtual air gap so that your critical data is isolated from threats like ransomware. Another feature of Fort Knox is Quorum, which is an authorization framework that ensures that a quorum of approvers is present to approve sensitive operations. The quorum system works like the safety deposit box that you see in banks requiring both your key and another from the bank to function. Significant changes require authorization from at least two people to guarantee the safety of your data. But for a lot of companies, they manage multi-cloud environments. They may have different platforms which require different approvers. So you always have the ability to uh, create additional approvers by selecting the Create Group button. But to understand how it's configured, let's take a look at the Tag Admin Quorum Group. The Quorum Group consists of three different sections. The Group Details defines the name of the group and the systems that it protects. Operations allows you to set up task permissions. And the Approver section specifies individuals with the authority to approve requests. It's important to note that multiple approvers may be required to sign off on a request. In this example, there are three members in the approvers group. For production environments, the number of approvers should be based on the security requirements of the organization. After configuring your Cloud Vault and Quorum of Approvers, you can use Fort Knox as an additional layer of protection for your data. For our last topic, let's take a look at Cohesity Gaia, which you can use for having a conversation with your data. Cohesity Gaia is a conversational search solution powered by AI that enables you to find information more efficiently. You can ask questions naturally. 
and Gaia will understand and even provide summaries for you. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that we're using a specific data set that contains information about our environment and other information. This data is preloaded with information for a compliance team to use. Now it's worth noting that the person with access to Cohesity typically holds a backup operations role, but an employee in a different part of your company may need to audit an issue. In this example, we're looking for possible compliance violations. The response shows common compliance violations and how to avoid them. This completes the demonstration. We took a look at Cohesity Data Cloud and how you can manage multi-cloud environments, security, and have a conversation with your data. Thank you for watching.